Hey guys, I wanna talk about warm-up sets today, okay? And how you should um, like program your training in terms of how many warm-up sets and how many work sets you do, okay? So you can get results without overtraining. And my answer is actually going to be, it really depends upon how advanced you are in that particular exercise, okay? Now, first of all, let me just say, that I'm talking about people who are doing um, heavy weights, okay, like five reps, okay, trying to lift heavy weights. Now, in terms of progression and volume and stuff like this for like plyometrics or lighter weights or body weight, that's gonna be different. We'll talk about something else. But the bottom line is um, like in terms of like how many total sets, how many work sets, and how many warm up sets you should do when you're lifting heavy weights. I think it really it really matters how strong you are on this particular exercise. So let's go ahead and talk about me, okay, doing dips, okay? I started off obviously doing dips with body weight, okay? So I just did, you know, as many as I could in each set, okay? Then I increased the difficulty by doing dips with body weight on rings, okay? Mate, cut everything in half. If you can do 20 reps on, on, of dips on bars, with the instability of rings, you're lucky if you could do 10. And you have to figure out how to contract your muscles and balance yourself anyway, even to do that, you know, 50% of your normal reps. Then I added weight to bar, uh, to bar dips, okay? When I started out, I just kind of added weight to every set. I did five sets of five reps, the standard five by five routine. And each one of them was, quote, heavy. You know, it was weight that was heavy to me at the time. But what I did is every time I hit a milestone, Okay, and for this exercise, a milestone is like a 45 pound plate, which it usually is for most exercises. Every time that I hit a 45 pound plate, I kind of kept that as a warm up set. So when I started off, I added, you know, like, yeah, I don't know, like maybe 10, 25 pound plate or whatever, just to see where I'm at. And I did, like I said, like five sets that were, you know, pretty heavy. Then when I got up to a 45 pound plate, I was like one set of five reps with 45 pound plate, and then I added weight for every other set, okay, if I could, for another four sets of five reps. So I went from having five work sets, no warm ups, to doing one warm up and four work sets. When I got up to being able to lift more than two 45 pound plates in addition to my body weight, that became my second warm up set. So now, I'm doing five reps with a 45 pound plate as a warm up, five sets with two 45 pound plates as a warm up, and three heavy sets. Okay? So as you can see, now I'm only doing three heavy sets and I'm doing two warm up sets, whereas I started off doing five heavy sets and no warm up sets. Now, okay, I'm using four plates for my heavy sets. That means Set of five with 45 pounds, a set of five with 90 pounds, a set of five with 135 pounds, and then two sets of five with 180. Four big 45 pound plates. I weigh, this morning I weighed 192, so 180 is almost my entire body weight in addition to myself, okay? Additional weight. So that is a lot of weight by anybody's, okay? By anybody's calculations, that's a lot of weight. Damn near your body weight for five reps on the dip is a lot of weight. So, whereas in the beginning, I was lifting light weight or maybe no weight, okay, maybe just my body weight, and that was hard to do five sets, now I'm doing three warm-up sets, but the amount of weight that I'm lifting on those two heavy sets is like astronomical compared to where I started. So I'm still getting the same workout. I'm still doing the same breakdown, the same micro trauma to my muscle fibers so they grow back stronger, okay? I'm still getting the same like volume of intensity, not, vol not total volume, but like I'm doing like the same amount of really heavy work it's just since I'm lifting such heavy weights now, I'm only doing it in two sets and the other three sets are warm-ups. And I do this in all my exercises, okay? For instance, I started off trap bar deadlifts. I started off with like the bar and a 45 pound plate. Didn't know where I was at, never done the exercise before. It was easy, so I threw a two and a half on each side, threw a two and a half on each side, threw a two and a half on each side. So I was basically started off doing a five sets of five reps. One was a warm up with one plate and then I kept adding weight after that. When I reached the point where I had two plates on each side, then I did one plate as a warm up, 
two plates as a warm, but when we did three heavy sets, okay? Now what I'm doing is, I'm actually doing six sets of five. One plate, two plates, three plates, four plates as a warm up, and then two heavy sets of five reps with four plates and a 35, okay? So it's almost five plates. Now, I actually added in another set, okay, to allow me to warm up, but at the same time to allow me to get into heavy sets. But like I said, I mean, that's like four plates, okay, and a 35 on each side is like 475 pounds. More actually when you consider that a trap bar is heavier than a straight bar, okay? Once again, I weigh under 200 pounds, so 500 pounds is two and a half times my body weight. I'm doing two sets of that, two sets of five reps with that. So like I said, the amount of damage that I'm causing to my muscle fibers, the amount of intensity, the amount of work that I'm putting in is incredible in those two sets compared to the rest, you know, compared to how I started off with like five sets with one plate, okay? And as a matter of fact, believe it or not, I really want to hit that fifth plate. When I feel that I'm ready to like make a, a charge and really try to up the weight to five plates, I'm probably going to drop down one of the work sets. I'll probably do one, two, three, four plates as warm ups and just do one heavy set with as you know with whatever I can add as you know as heavy as possible. So I'm only going to be doing one warm up set. But once again, I mean we're talking about three plates as a warm up, four plates as a warm up. And the heavy set's gonna be damn near two and a half times my body weight for five reps. So compare that to where I started. And yes, I am, quote, taking it easy because I'm doing four warm ups, you know, and one or two heavy sets. But the one or two heavy sets are so heavy that, like I said, it's just everything from, you know, muscle fibers to like, you know, tendons and ligaments to like mentally, like you're scared to lift the weight because you barely lifted it for five reps last week and you, man, can I get it this week? And you know, there's just so much strain and so much pressure doing those couple one or two heavy sets that it gets me the exact same workout that I got when I started doing five, so to speak, heavy sets. So anyway, that's my plan, okay, that I suggest you think and maybe try in terms of balancing like intensity and volume and work sets and warm up sets. Like I said, for each particular exercise, the stronger that you get, okay, the more heavier the weight is that you lift, the fewer work sets you get, the uh, more warm up sets you get, and you will still end up having the same workout because like I said, the intensity of using extraordinarily heavy weights is completely different from when you started and you know every set for you it was heavy at the time but in the grand scheme of things every one of your heavy sets was actually light okay see you guys in the next video follow me all over on social media i mean i'm doing these longer uh videos uh on facebook youtube and also igtv so like i said anaerobics follow me on facebook twitter youtube anaerobics anybody has a question comment below. I'm really trying to get my shit together and get better at answering comments and uh, you know, keeping up with the emails. I've been swamped because I'm putting a whole lot of work onto this new membership site. But like I said, definitely uh, comment if you have any questions and I'll certainly go ahead and answer your questions in a video if I can.